Good morning. It's August 8th, 2018. And uh, look, I got into this, um, this reporting thing to point out something, right? Which was deep, deep corruption at all levels of government right now. I experienced it personally as a as a city worker in the city of New York and I was you know attacked and fired and ridiculed and mocked and I tried to sue and was thrown under the bus so uh, today I guess my prophecy and my my trail is correct right it led me right up to you know the, the cases that matter in this matter which is the oligarchy squeezing the American people right so Paul Manafort, right? Who the hell's Paul Manafort? These are all newsable subjects, so I want to just... I know Paul is in... Paul Manafort is in the uh, news right now, and Paul Manafort is being... It was Trump's campaign guy, campaign manager, and now is being... They're trying to put the Russia the Russia narrative around his neck. He's in jail. They, they're, they've got an army of lawyers with one piece of evidence one piece of evidence that he signed something with somebody who has a Russian last name in Russia. <laughs> and it happened eight years ago, ten years ago, right? When it has nothing to do with Trump or Russian oligarchy today or any of that stuff, right? But he's, he's in the news right now and there's 17 attorneys, prosecutors trying to, trying to tag him and bring him down and keep him in jail, right? That's oligarchy in action. They don't want to deal with Russia. They want, they want, they want the, they want the, 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 the companies keep NATO strong, keep feeding NATO arms, keep Europe weak, keep Russia out of the picture, out of the trade deal, out of the oil deal, right? That's, that's the whole play right there, right? So Manafort is a, is a, is a, 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 a is a, um, a thorn in Trump's side. So it's no sense in, I know a lot of people want to chase around the subject and they want to chase the case around DC. It's, in my view, it's senseless. It doesn't, it only proves that the corrupt, the, the, the system is deeply corrupted in favor of the oligarchy. That's all it proves, right? That's all it proves. Because on the flip side is Imran Awan. Now, Imran Awan is the, is the mirror image of Paul Manafort. Now, Imran Awan had and uh, there was a, a pile of pounds and, and, and a mountain of evidence to suggest that he was deeply involved in, an, in, in, a, in a spy ring in Congress. He was the intel guy inside of Congress under Debbie Wasserman Schultz and prominent Democratic uh, uh, Congress people, senators, right? So Imran Awan was was involved in the quid pro quo, how the information was, was, was leaking out of Congress, possibly how it ultimately leaked out of the DNC, right? Because all the computer systems were connected. Did Imran, was Imran Awan a leak? No, Imran Awan has no motive to be a, a leak. Imran Awan is paid, is paid, was paid, right? But, but here, here's the tie-in that, see, Paul Manafort has an army of lawyers trying to prosecute him for some vague, one little vague bank fraud thing that happened 10 years ago because it benefits the oligarchy. Imran Awan had a mountain of evidence to prove that he was instrumentally involved in, in, a, in a ring of quid pro quo, selling information, violations of, of classified information, accessing classified information, a mountain of it. And how many lawyers? One. It's got there were one one shit prosecuted. There was no interest in that case. Why? Because it protects the oligarchy. So, again, my my prophecy and the the the, the theme of of my blog, if you follow this, is and always has been that it's the corruption. But now we have to move to to the to the oligarchy. We have to go one step above the municipalities and the politicians, right? Because it's not necessarily them per se. They are following orders. And who do those orders come from? Let's talk about InfoWars. We're seeing it play out, right? The media. Facebook, YouTube, Apple. The three major media players. They were box companies. They were initially um, tech companies. 
But now they control the media. I don't know why Jeff Bezos isn't in this. He'll be in it soon, right? Amazon, right? You'll see Amazon pop in now. Say, oh, yeah, fucking, you know, yeah, fucking InfoWars. Yeah, they're, 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 they're harassing kids. They're, they're <laughs> right? So, so InfoWars is, is still very, very newsable and very, very something that we really want to watch because the tech companies are raining down on him in an illegal way, right? Now, people say, oh, well, the, the, the rules, when you, when you sign on to Facebook, you give up your rights and you, 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 you give them permission to, to monitor you. No, you, there's a First Amendment. You can't do that, right? That's the essence of the case. It's a First Amendment case because Facebook, Google, and Apple create rules and bylaws that their people theoretically must follow, right? But that's, it, it's illegal because it violates the First Amendment. That's what a First Amendment case is all about. And that's why InfoWars is so important because it, it clearly indicates that the oligarchy coordinated, colluded, conspired to knock him out. Four major companies in one night, Spotify as well, I think there was others. others. That's, your, that's your suit. It's InfoWars versus all three of them as respondents. And, then, and you sue them as a violation of your First Amendment rights. And from that, what you do is you discover who gave the order. Ah. Ooh, who gave the order? Who gave the order? Who gave the order to Apple, Google, Facebook? Let's see who gave the order. Who gave that order? Ooh. That's why it's an important case, right? That's why it's so important, because the oligarchy, through the, the examples of Manafort, which is being wrongly prosecuted, the, the president of the United States is saying it's a witch hunt. But nonetheless, the deep state keeps raining down on him, because they have to prove that narrative, that, that it's Russia. Because once they get that, once they get the, the ignorant masses to believe that somehow this foreign power had rigged our election and is totally fucking up our economy. It's over. It's funny, right? Right. Once they prove that, then they could come after people like me and say anything that is, or, or anybody, any. We're all we're all on the on the chopping block. Freedom of speech is on the chopping block because people are fucking terrified, and you know, and and you know, can Alex Jones beat Apple, Google, and Facebook? I mean, they're gonna line. They're gonna line up. They're each gonna throw five million dollars in the pot, and they're gonna line up lawyers. And they're gonna blow him, you know, cost him, a, you know, they're gonna they're out, they're gonna outspend him, they're gonna exhaust him, and then five years later he may get to Supreme Court. By that time, the story has 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 changed and mutated, and and and, and right. So, but is it a, is it a noble fight? Absolutely. Can he? He's got the support unanimously. With all of the the, the uh, alt media people, everybody came to to uh, Infowars' rescue. Everybody's talking about it in support of Infowars and Alex Jones. Everybody unanimously. And who's who's unanimously against them? The the legacy media, the the the, the oligarchy, the people that pay millions and millions of dollars to keep CNN on online, because CNN doesn't make money. MSNBC doesn't make money. They're not. That's not how it works. They're a. They're a. They're a leg, an arm of, of the the oligarchy. That's what they are. They're they're paid for. How do you think? How how are they going to pay Rachel Maddow eight million dollars a, a a year, and and another five got people at MSNBC, fifty million dollars in salaries? They don't generate shit. They don't generate anything. They're paid from the oligarchy to, to promote a, a false narrative, a false message that keeps their their business in play. Understand it. That's what's that's what's going on. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter here on YouTube. Subscribe. I'm still alive. I have uh, many other ways to um, to uh, many ways to support me. Please do. And um, I also have a, uh, a, a, a some merchandise coming. Has some merchandise coming. Peace out.